Starting over here on the left, we've got compost. A lot of people use compost as mulch, so we thought, hmm, wonder what would happen in a windstorm? We'll find out. We've got regular wood chip or arborist mulch. We have beauty bark mulch and rock mulch. Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi everybody, happy Sunday to you, and we hope you're having a great weekend. It is day 132 of the Quarantine Gardeners. And if you don't know, that's us. We're the Quarantine Gardeners, and this is our daily video log of us accomplishing different projects around our garden while under quarantine. And we're so thankful you're here today on our Science Sunday. We've got a fun one coming up in just a minute. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below, go ahead and do so so you don't miss out on all our daily videos. So guys, today, Science Sunday, we are testing which mulch can withstand low wind gusts. And we have four different mulches that we have here that we're gonna test with that today. I know, this is gonna be really fun. And we've had questions before from subscribers and followers and whatnot that have wondered, you know, which, which mulch actually will stay in place. Yep, and everybody gets wind gusts. Everybody has wind storms pretty much throughout the world. Some mulches move around easily than others. And this can be attributed to the size of the mulch, the material and weight of the mulch, and some other factors too. So we've chosen a, a range of mulches that we have around our yard. If there was to be a repeated wind gust of say maybe 20 miles an hour, what would happen? So guys, here we are and don't mind our dormant grass. It does it every year. It goes brown and goes dormant. It'll turn green again once the uh, once the rains come. So what we have here is we've got our backpack blower, which is going to be our wind, and we'll get into that in a minute. And then we've got set up here our four different mulch materials on some MDF. And now the idea behind this is is the MDF to us is going to replicate and represent hard compacted soil and it's not going to be wet it's just gonna it's just gonna replicate that like so a, like a dry surface yes right? so our mulches that we've chosen starting over here on the left we've got compost a lot of people use compost as mulch so we thought hmm wonder what would happen in a windstorm we'll find out we've got regular wood chip or arborist mulch we have beauty bark mulch and rock mulch and yep this is a pea gravel rock so not to be confused with river rock or lava rock, in case you're wondering. So basically we're keeping the same amount of material. That's a controlled variable that, you know, we always nerd out and talk about. We have to, you have to keep some things controlled in order to, to test the experiment, to run the experiment and to compare the results. Mm -hmm. So the same person, Sean, will be the wind. We had to figure out what actual speed, what was the highest speed of this backpack blower, what it'll push out its top end speed of air. And come to find out, it's very surprising, it's over 250 miles per hour at the top throttle of this machine, what it'll push out at the end of that hose. Which by the way, that's like beyond a category five hurricane. Yeah. So that's not a very common occurrence. No, not a common wind gust. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this backpack blower. We're gonna try and use just a little bit of the throttle. We're gonna guesstimate on the wind speed using the throttle and we're going to do our best to make it constant at about a fifth of the speed so it's going to be at probably close to 50 miles an hour and what we'll do is we'll use this black backpack blower with a swiping motion to replicate a gust of wind kind of coming and going over and over again on these different mulch materials. Yeah, that was the hardest material to try to figure out, but I think it'll work. I think so too. I don't know, Sean, what are you thinking as far as all of these mulches, which one will stay in place? I think the one that's gonna stay the most in place is the rock. Um, I think the one that is going to move the easiest is the bark mulch. Right. I think it's gonna be the rock mulch that will stay in place. Mm -hmm. So through all the wind gusts that we're gonna repeat, Rock mulch will stay mostly in that pile. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of wondering if compost will be the one that'll move the farthest, maybe. So guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat three different times, three wind gusts. So a total of nine wind gusts total, and we're gonna do them in sets of three. And these will be passes that I'll make over the mulch materials repeatedly. We're gonna see which one moves the least. Yeah, really, the least. Um, okay, I guess I think we're ready to go here. I think so too, um, guys. You ready to go? Let's do you, this. You guys need to make a prediction. Okay, you guys, Sean's gonna get loaded up here. He's got his backpack blower. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, and by the way, when you're doing this, guys, safety first. Today, we're not gonna have a really high uh, rev, a really high throttle noise on this, so I'm not gonna wear my earmuffs on this, but usually when you operate these, you want earmuffs to protect your ears and you want goggles. Today, everything's gonna be blowing away from us, 
and at a low throttle so I don't feel like I need that safety. You guys, here's the first three sweeps. Here we go. Okay, trial one, what do you guys think? Kind of a tie between the rock mulch and the wood mulch staying in place, but these two you can see kind of spread out. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna leave everything as it is and we're gonna do our next trial. Ready with the wind? Ready with the wind, here we go, number two. Okay, cool. Let's take a look here. A little more movement on the wood or the beauty bark in the compost, but nothing from the rock and barely anything from the wood chip. That's interesting. Okay. Last trial, free Gus. Okay, number three, here we go. Okay, wow. Okay, now we can hear ourselves think. Um, so I think it looks like from that repeated experiment that Sean and I were both right. Barely, if anything, even moved from this pile. So that's pretty cool. That is cool. The rock didn't really move at all. But neither did the wood chip, look at that. Yeah, isn't that interesting? It barely moved. Yeah, so guys, the material that moved the least was the rock, Yeah. interestingly enough. And then it was the wood chip, runner up. Gosh, and the then last... it almost looks like the beauty bark. And then lastly, it was the compost. The yeah. compost moved the most. I think so. So wow, that's cool. So it shows that um, beauty bark just kind of, is it because it's smaller, it's finer pieces compared to the wood chip? I, I think, think so. I think what's going on here is we've got the size of the material and also the density of the material. Okay. The beauty bark definitely has a finer chunk to it and it has the same general density throughout all the material because it is all the same material where the wood chip is not, the arborist mulch is not. It's made up of many different kinds of material, all with different densities. That makes so sense. I think that we could say that that's partially why it didn't move as much as the bark. So it's almost like the finer the particle, which compost definitely has the finest particles of all four materials we used, move the furthest. Mm -hmm. And the particles that have the larger sizes or or heaviest maybe, mm -hmm. like rock. It's heavier and it has more density, I believe, than wood. Absolutely. So I think right there is a telling sign that that's why it didn't move. We're gonna take the backpack blower at full throttle and make three consecutive sweeps and see what happens with roughly 250 miles an hour coming out of the end of this backpack blower. I'm gonna use my earmuffs. And so these are great. If you wanna know which ones I like to use, these are the Peltors. They're Optimi 105s, and we'll put a link down below for these because you need these if you're operating one of these noisy pieces of equipment. Otherwise, you're gonna screw up your hearing. So here we go. We can either re-predict or you can just root for your favorite mulch here to see which one stays in place or which one moves the furthest. Okay. Here we go. Wow, wow. rock's not moving at all. Look at that rock pile. Wow, and ironically, wood chip moved the furthest, so that's interesting. <laughs> but rock did not move. <laughs> this just one little thing, just one little pebble here, that's it. Yeah, rock's pretty cool stuff. Wow, guys, <laughs> okay. So guys, what'd you think? Pretty cool, huh? That was really fun. So guys, I gotta tell you, um, when I had that backpack blower at full throttle, I might have not been as even with my sweeps as I was before, um, because we did notice that the wood chip kind of blew almost all the way away uh, compared to the other ones, the other materials. So. I might not have been as evenly sweeping across all the materials as I should have been. I think if there's a hurricane coming your way, nothing's safe and all your mulch will blow away, even if it's rock or whatever. But it was really fun to simulate an environment where there would be wind gusts and see what might happen. Um, we do have wood chip and rock mulch on our property. We don't use beauty bark and we don't use really use compost too much as a mulch, but it's fun to know that if there is a wind gust, you know, things are gonna move a little bit, but They'll generally stay in place. Yeah, it was a fun experiment. And you know, guys, if you want to, give us some suggestions of some experiments that you might want to see. Let us know down below, because we're looking for good ideas. We want to make this fun. 
and we want to make it educational too. So give us some ideas if you want to see something. And as long as we have the right supplies and things that we need to run the experiment, we'd love to try it out. Yeah, it'd be fun. So guys, go ahead and leave your comments and questions down below. We love hearing from you. Uh, give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job, and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. And that's a wrap for today's Science Sunday. And you guys, come on back tomorrow for Mulching Monday. We have a new tip for you. We're gonna talk about a type of mulch and talk about some pros and cons. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.